Gentlemen, we're going back to World War One. We're playing the UK. I've been told there's a very big secret industry. I'm going to try to get it. I'm not going to say what it is. George Bushman, what the Herbert Henry Asquith, drunken genius. Dude, that's like uh, me. Skull Brothers. Construction one, as always. We're going to have a long game. Let's get pre-war artillery already, man. I have Gibraltar, okay. And I'm building some sifts because we are going to have a long game. I want to open up like this. I need to do something special in this focus tree. If I want to get the secret, the secret, the, the secret sauce. Okay, let's go. The Pax Britannica was a great era where Britain became the world's first and only hyperpower. We conquered the jewel of India. We punctured deep into the riches of China and we acquired large swathes of land in Africa. We did all this just so Boris Johnson can lead us one day and we vote for dumbass Brexit. I'm free. If the Great War begins, threat is more than 6% or popularity is more than 50, the government mm -hmm. will resign. You gain the Pax Britannica, you get ideology, opinion, can't really join any facts, blah blah, my democracy goes down, I can't my guarantee on Belgium. What do we have? British Stoicism. British are Stoic? Are they? Stoicism is still common in the North, but it's no longer national philosophy as it was back in the day. The empire is vast and needy, we suffer from overextension. Makes sense. The British fleet currently is not involved in active maneuvers and ship crews are resting at home. Ah. The Lord's opposition, that's very heavy, man. We have Edward, Little Eddie, the Grace of God, King of the United Kingdom, and Naval Arms Race. The death of Edward. Eddie is dead, but George V brings more stability. This is the Stuttering King's dad. Oh. Okay, we got the, the Royal Navy. is so fucking OP, man. John Jellico or William Pan Am. Ironside, capital should armor. But he's Ironside too. He looks a bit better. The Industrial Revolution begins, began in Britain, and we can never forget that. Let's get some uh, infrastructure, man. Sent a general Knox to Russia. I get some war support. The British attache. Russians have accepted. We got some uh, uh, industry bonuses. The rest is way too far ahead. Fortifications. I like this in this mod. I love that. You, you can't reach this yet. 1914 is far away. And the game kind of forces you to research other stuff like motorized. I, I like that, man. No country left behind. I'm building up Scotland and Ireland. Um, let's actually get some marines, man. Why the fuck not? The brightest. One electronic research. We're also the brightest. I don't know. What? It's my favorite color. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> yeah, I spell it wrong. Sent the battleship to Agadir. In British opinion, the French government is quite responsible for triggering the Agadir crisis. Firstly, we had decided to observe them from afar, but France has protested that it is unacceptable to have Brits allow German influence in Morocco, far from supporting France following the 1904 Anglo-French agreement. Therefore, we need to involve in moderation to avoid the crisis of war, as with Germany sending a battleship to Agadir will moderately deter both countries and avoid the threat of an all-out war. I'm sending a battleship, man. Fuck it. I, I, I averted the Agadir crisis. Look at that. I think I should rush the, the artillery so I can build it early. Intervene in China. Am I pro Qing? I guess I am. I do. Qing is concessionist and Britain only cares about business in China in that era. What happens in the end here? The British are coming. I can take the US. <laughs> I mean, let's try. Maybe we can have an early game war. We can send it. Oh god, he's fucking dying. Can I send volunteers? No. That's cool by the death that you can't send that. Oh, they fucking won. Okay, my, my help didn't even do anything. Wow. The Federal America. Wait, that's not historical. That is not historical. Aren't we playing historical? What the fuck, bro? I need the mills, bruh. I need the mills. Probably not North Ireland, because I might lose that. Um, I need my neutrality crisis, man, to get my refocus tree. Modern artillery bonus? Sure. Austria hungry? Wait, oh, we're playing on historical, huh? Okay, the Great War started. What? I wasn't ready for that? What? How about kitchen? No. Offensive. German invasion of Belgium. Okay, yo, yo, yo. So, will I be involved? Are they gonna call me in? Wait, following the neutrality crisis, the British government has completely collapsed. Wait, can I take the focus now? Wait, I should get fallen government in a second. I, I got it, I got it. Everything's good. I got fallen government. Cabinet crisis. Stability is going down. Democracy is dying. PP down. Stability down again. But I can now take this focus. The Royal Preorgative. And now we're getting to the secret treatment. The Royal Preorgative. I get world tension, war support, PP. James Lowfern becomes leader of the Democratic Party and is a speaker. Our government has quite literally fallen. It is time for the People's King, who has determined to steer us out of the continental budget to take power. Ivor Maxa, that's what I like, man. Introducers are just too good in this game, man. Let's see how Germany fares in World War I and Austria. Karl Fourth Uganda. <laughs> I got the Uganda boys with me. I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. Less than 50% for the comments. That's what I need. 
I think I'm losing democracy at the moment, though. Yeah, I'm losing it. I need less than 50. That's going to take a long time. Following the continued home rule debates, 150,000 Ulster men have amassed on the anniversary of William III's victory over James II. They are threatening force of arms to prevent home rule being implemented, and experts are concerned that an Irish civil war is certain. Oh, shit. Should I send an army to... Oh, shit, man. I'm sending them to the port of Liverpool in case something happens. There's pesky Irish morale drill reformer organization organization on this difficulty. What I love about this mod, I think it's so cool. Huge fan. There's pre-made peace conferences. When Germany beats France, right? The developer makes a peace conference for you, and I love that. You can't cheat. Like France loses El Zerain, and then France gets a new focus where France is getting mad, and France wants re wants uh, wants to fight back. If Germany loses, they get Hitler and shit, man. It's it's the future of Fight 4. I think that's what Hurts of Fight 5 is going to have. Uh, this, this like, content after the first big war. I think it's amazing. Let's have a little um, infrastructure move down here. Oh, and now I can probably start with 7 twos in the early game. Nice 7 2. Recon armored car. I built that the whole game. And now I can build this. I can build this. Armored car is a bit of a problem. Normally I get away. Oh, right. I never made armored cars. Socialist USA is winning. Ooh. In my point, you always have the choice between air and tanks, but I'd, I'd like to do air this time around, I guess. Uh, this is not with the update, so let's get fighter once and cast one. Land of inventors. And a resource slot. Name three things Britain invented. Fish and chips, losing at penalty shooting, and cocking your own country. Winning world wars. You mean winning world wars by calling others for help. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both world wars were caused by people with incestuous family trees. Maybe incest is the big issue on this planet. Yeah, I have two younger brothers. I'm the oldest of three, and I've got a sister who's the love of my life. Sounds like a Joe Rogan podcast, man. What if all world wars are based on incest, man? What do you think about that? Did that have an incestuous family? It is rumored he did. It is rumored his dad fucked his his aunt, the sister of the dad, right? Cousin, cousin, yeah. Hey guys, look at my girlfriend. I'm your cousin. Oh, no. 300 day bonus, man. I can get the sub with pup. Fight a two's early, man. God save the king. We're finally ready for the real shit, baby. House of Zaxa Kuburg becomes the leadership. Modify Pax Britannica. My, I can send volunteers. My democracy dies and I become super authoritarian. Whoa. Communist USA. I did not even know I'm playing on historical. I mean, Germany is winning. No! Oh no, that's... Oh god, I thought that... No! No, idiot! Man, 5% democracy killed my king focus. We have to wait again. Well, I can just name some divisions in the meantime. I have some time. There you go, man. You guys happy? Dude, you're dying to French volunteers, Austria! Oh my god. Germany getting backstabbed once again by their dumbass allies, dude. Superior firepower is obviously very good here. Shocking news from Buckingham Palace today. And it is revealed that King Emperor George V has asserted his royal powers and taken direct control of the country, man. Imagine this will happen in real life, man. Yeah, like, you look at Britain with Boris Johnson and all these weird people uh, stepping back, man. And then Charles just take over. A uh, hundred million a year. Order of the King third positionism point the prince of wales to military postings royal militia gives me a lot of population and 10 war support for the king and country uh, royal militia these guys just defend always need your 20 with mp in every game and here's the 40 whiffs man i feel like this division just wins by four man i can totally afford this gg cast two is around let's go i feel very unbeatable but let's see what happens with the little secret yo eddie Prince Edward of Wales. Oh, that's the stuttering king, right? Let's check him out, dude. Charismatic. That's the brother of the stutterer. Ah, okay. Ah, torpedo tube, cock, snorkel, cork. Torpedo submarine engine. I make a lot of the submarino. You better making battleships, man. Who does that? This one. Bam, 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 bam. And I'm ready for a lot of world wars, man. Let's go. Oh, there's an event. If Germany doesn't uh, win in a certain time, something happens. Germany broke through, but now they're getting fucked. The central powers aren't able to effectively fight further. They're asking for an armistice from the Entente, which means that the war is over and the central powers have lost. Oh. And now they have this sick period of peace dealing. It's so cool in this game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. After increasing the tensions between royal Irish government and the Sinn Féin, the Irish Independence Party, it seems as though many of the militant members have risen up and seized various vital sections of Dublin. 
Obviously, this little charade will be easily put down, but it signals that a difficult time of Ireland might be ahead. I lose course and I get terrorism. The Weimar Republic has formed. Oh, shit. And I stopped the Irish Rebellion. Only 143 people needed to die. Yeah, Austria is falling apart. Hungary has formed. This guy is looking in many different directions politically. Prince of Paradox. <laughs> Minus five consumer goods is pretty fucking insane, dude. I cannot say no to that. Oh, Germany collapsed. Okay. Victoria II, Bokun I, ruling this. The Free Social Republic of Bavaria. Württemberg. Okay, Germany ain't doing so well. Let's make some nice Marines, baby. Royal Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Two of them, wow. No, there's now talk to chat that my secret path might be bugged. Might have bugged since you weren't in the war. You should fight after that peace conference. We need to find the event to trigger my secret path. World War I, England event number 157. Gratias! Gratias! Gratias, baby Sager! Gentlemen, the secret is out. You can make the Roman Empire as the U uh, UK man. Rome and its glory is the indomitable, persevering ambition that drives all men on earth to aspire to. Who is the most powerful empire on the planet? Surely not the Russians, the Turks, or the Greeks, the Italians, or the pesky Germans. No, it is us, the British. We now are in a position to declare the new Anglican Fifth Rome under Caesar George. Angevin Empire or the Fifth Rome? Fifth Rome, right? Fifth Rome, dude. Oh, who said this doesn't work? Wait, where are my Wuggles? Fuck, it doesn't work. Shit, he was right. It's actually. It's actually broken. You get claims? A claim? Okay, let's prepare for the invasion of France. Let's go with that. I got the uh, Marine Corps. Okay, set this up. Isn't breast level 10, but you need uh, two naval zones. So I think Shellwalk is the best opening. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Attack France. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, do I only have two naval zones? Oh, you can only have two nail invasions because World War One. So you land and then you get followed by your friends. Yes, sir. So bring all of them over here. Come on. Then this army will also wait over here to be ready for the war. Wow, that's all the air built the whole game. I guess in in, in this game you just built less air because uh, World War One. The, the, you probably made the production values go down. And let's go. I just need to land. Oh God. I mean, I have so much cash, right? I have so much cash shitting on this. Shore bombardment, everything. My fleet is doing well. There you go. And now I make these guys just join blue for automatic. We even take breast ASAP. As you can see, I have big issues here with supply. I need to fix that ASAP. And now when breast goes down, we have our beach head. Good. Zero world tension. It's a bit buggy, man. Okay, I got Paris for free. Three, two, one. And now we can make the real line. Bam. And that's the end of France, baby. I have to cheat world tension, guys. I literally have to, dude. It's literally below 35. I need to start justifying on people. What can I do, man? I have to do it. Walk on my ass, man. Unfortunately, there's gonna be not um, a cool event about this, I think. Let's -a go! Take them all down. Oh, guarantee by Russia. Okay, someone wants actually trouble. Take them down quick. What do you think about E4? Uh, great game. Just not my type of game. Uh, U4 is a great game, obviously, but U4 doesn't have a roleplay aspect. That's why I don't like it so much. Take Italy real quick. Hey, hey, I'm getting stuck. Oh, nice. I'm getting... Oh, I like it. Okay, you want to play games? We play games, bro. I'm fucking in. Italy means business. I like, I like. It's probably just a supply issue, yeah. When you fix supply, you mostly just win afterwards. Shell shortage. Shell crisis. I don't have enough fucking artillery shells. What am I, Russia? Dude, how old I fix that? I literally built all the railroads. Maybe I can just try. Maybe there's no defense in Livorno. It's not. Yeah, there you go. There's no defense. Luckily, luckily. Because otherwise I would have been stuck here forever, man. Livorno, very good food there, man. Very, very good food. And now we got this. Good shit. Thank you, tour man. What's up? What's this? And yet's your Irish War of Independence. How is this all falling apart all of a sudden? Just rush Dublin, dude. Good shit. Good shit. We got this. Fucking Ireland. Dude, I'm not breaking. Okay, we have a fucking game on our hands. Anglo-Irish Treaty. White peace or you get big debuff. Oh, fuck, I can't really afford that debuff. At least they're a puppet, I guess. This guy's actually already taking. Let's go. Put back to free. Good. I'm kind of buttered and just want to make this work right now. 
Yeah, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. Oh, I'm gonna make it work. Don't you fucking worry. Good old Tommy K. Orc Rush, man. Just running like a retard, man. It's always gonna work. Need Geneva. I need Geneva. Geneva is taken. That's a supply hub. Man, my biggest enemy is, is, is just supply all the time, man. Okay, that's only down. The goal is to get Moscow. Very low division count, though. I think I can. I'm actually, I'm actually almost broke, dude. Ship. Uh, for breaking, yeah. Naval Sicily, no, man. I'm a stubborn cunt, and I'm breaking through like this little shit, man. Easy breakthrough, no problem, no problem. Daria no mora. Good shit. Done. Green. Bam. Boom. Bam. 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 Ba Babi di boom. Bam. Ching chang. Chung chang. 30 days. Suddenly 30 days. Why? Maybe because they had war. They had war themselves. What the fuck you want, Ottoman? You motherfucker. You wanna fucking do this? Oh, Ottoman. Oh, Otto, Otto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otto, Otto, Otto. Who's this fucker? Who the fuck are you? Wait, that's me? Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> I'm probably just holding and I take them from you, bro. Better declare one him. Take him down, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, Tennis Storm. Come on, quick, come on, quick. That's the problem. Call all allies. Um, where's the call all button? We can't kind of gonna carry this. Roman Spartakist War. Oh, Russia and Turkey. Ooh. Probably wanna chill here. I, oh, man, this is getting mad scary now. Maybe a, a Russia rush makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I think I can afford this. Support motors. I don't have that much artillery, that's why I don't recruit much more uh, divisions. My artillery will go negative. And I also think I can do it with this division count. Some people actually have. What? Oh, I, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. No, no. Just take it. I don't care. I can't. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I fucking hate this shit so much. Oh, ugh. Ugh. Wait, huh? Ready. Don't even ask, Jeff. I need to solo Russia with 24 divisions. That's the goal here. Get the peace still on the Ottomans. Finish the game, bro. You guys can just watch the death of Russia. Oh, Great Depression, huh? Oh, what the fuck? How how do you keep... How do you how are you stronger than me, man? That is insane to me. Okay, a lot of airs coming in. There we go. Fixing it slowly. Airports are coming. Breaking through. 24 divisions is all you need, boys. I'm going to save him. 3, 2, 1. Saved. I gotta make my front line smaller. Is that a circle? Fix it. Bam. I really thought I'm gonna be have a much easier time here. Just give me the kill, man. I just wanna be out of this. Russia and Ottomans. I really uh, was kinda arrogant thinking, ah, oh, easy, man. I'm gonna kill this. But then the Great Depression hit, which is a bit sad. <laughs> Germans are be <laughs> German being arrogant about invading Russia. I have no counter to that. Sif, Sif three, oh god. Where is everyone? Where is the whole army? What's los, Alter? What's was macht ihr in den Urlaub oder was? We're attrition here, we can't go to the front line. Are you Listen fucking up. kidding me? Wait, now, now my line doesn't even say. Uh, the fuck negative foot is this shit, negative. We as Jews are embarrassed what's happening there. I cannot even take manpower loss because of Great Depression. Not, I'm giving, I'm not giving it to YouTube clips this time. <laughs> he doesn't finish a campaign. No, not this time. Not today, man. Not today. Step by step, man. I'm finished campaign, man. Ah, that's when Tommy wakes up. That's when Tommy just takes a real so bad. That's when I have a so bad. Take Kirsch. For me, I'm finished. Good. And I'm a total border man. It's fucking finished. Let's get to Moscow. Yeah! It was just a Great Depression. Look at this, man. The Great Depression fucked the hell out of us, dude. And now it's kill us. Fucking finish it. Good stuff, good stuff. Get it done with. Take Constantinia. And say adioso grosso. There's a submod for Ching. That's really good. Submod. There's a submod. I never, I never understand submods. Why did I not just put it into the real mod? Ready. Well, since this peace conference, only my puppets, so they shouldn't be able to do anything. My score can't go up. I'm not allowed to take this. What?
Well, I don't, hey, it's just me of Rocky Shea. I don't give a shit, man. It's too fucking stupid. It's too dumb. But in the end, we fucking did it. The fifth Roman Empire has beaten all the majors. Normie Cap Tommy has randomly visited you. It's time to click the video. You're not clicking it.